Gurley Chu Hassan Cuffed, August 27, 1963, September 9, 1999, was a Malaysian born woman who disappeared on September 9, 1999, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The investigation into the murder of Gurley Chu revealed a conspiracy theory involving reptilian queens, UFOs, and reports of cannibalism. Gurley Chu's husband Diazian Hassan Koft and his girlfriend Linda Henning were convicted of her murder. Girl Y's body has never been found. People involved Gurley Chu Hassan Koft Gurley Chu was born on August 27, 1963, in Malaysia. During a visit to the United States in the early 1990s, she met Diazian Hassan Koft at SeaWorld. In 1993, Gurley and Dazian married. They resided in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where Gurley was employed as a bank teller. In January 1999, Gurley moved out of the couple's home and filed for divorce after a domestic violence incident where Dazian had threatened to kill her. She confided in her co-workers that she was afraid of her husband after she found out he was not a doctor and was using a fake name. Dizian Hassenkoff Dizian Hassenkoff was born Armin Chavez in Houston, Texas, on March 5, 1965. He falsely claimed that he was a thoracic surgeon with degrees from the University of Tokyo and Cornell Medical College. In reality, he was a con artist who had doctored his transcripts and was expelled from medical school. Following his expulsion, he changed his name to Dizian Hassenkoff and married Gurley Chu. Dizian continued to trick people into believing he was a geneticist who claimed to have leukemia. He sold fake cancer treatments to clients who would pay thousands of dollars for anti-aging injections. In 1996, he fathered a son with a Japanese woman living in Canada. In 1999, while still married to his wife Gurley, he was engaged to three different women, including Linda Henning. Linda Henning Linda Henning was born on October 10, 1953, in Hollywood, California. After high school, she worked as a fashion model, and later became a successful fashion designer. In 1999, Linda met Diazian, and she quickly broke up with her fiancé and became engaged to Diazian. Linda and Diazian shared an interest in government conspiracy theories and UFOs. Crime and Investigation On the morning of September 10, 1999, Gurley Chu Hasenkoff failed to show up for work. Her co-workers immediately became concerned about Girl Y's welfare and reported her missing that day. Diazian Hasenkoff was the prime suspect in the investigation, but he had left for Charleston, South Carolina, that very day. Investigators then focused their attention on Gurley Chu's apartment and Dizian Hasenkoff's girlfriend, Linda Henning. Inside Girl Y's apartment, the investigators noticed the smell of bleach. Using luminol, they found considerable blood evidence. Following the search of Gurley Chu's apartment, police questioned Henning, who appeared as a personal reference of Dizian. In her interview, she claimed that she believed that Dizian was an accomplished doctor and that she had no knowledge of Gurley Chu Hasenkoff's disappearance. She later stated to an investigative grand jury that she did not even know Dizian's missing wife, but police were able to prove that she was lying. Investigators showed that Linda had banked at the branch where Gurley worked, and that Gurley had been Linda's teller on at least one occasion. Linda Henning was charged with perjury for lying to the grand jury in October 1999.In Henning's home, investigators recovered a ninja sword in her attic, which was purchased on the morning of Girl Y's murder. Days after Girly Chu's disappearance, her clothing was found on a tarpaulin in Belen, New Mexico. Along with Girl Y's clothing, Investigators discovered a piece of duct tape with Linda Henning's hair attached. She and Dizian Hasenkoft were indicted and charged with murder. Trial in January 2002, in an effort to avoid the death penalty, Dizian Hasenkoft pleaded guilty to the murder of his wife.
In exchange for his plea bargain, he was sentenced to life in prison plus 61 years to be served in Wyoming State Penitentiary. Linda Henning's murder trial began in September 2002, more than three years after Gurley Chu Hasenkoft's disappearance. The trial was later televised on Court TV. She was the first woman in New Mexico history to face capital punishment. Linda's friends believed that she had been brainwashed and drugged by Dizian. Onlookers noted Linda's strange actions as forensic investigators testified for the prosecution. During the trial, Linda Henning's attorneys Gary Mitchell and Monica Baca called Dizian Hasenkoff to testify in Linda's defense. On the stand, he proclaimed that he had masterminded the murder of his wife and that Linda Henning was completely innocent. He claimed that a man named Bill Miller was Gurley Chu, Hasenkoff's true killer, and not Linda Henning as the prosecutors have theorized. Bill Miller had been charged in the investigation, but only with five counts of tampering with evidence. Regarding Linda's blood found in Gurley's apartment, Dizian had claimed that he planted her blood there. Even though Dizian testified that he planted Linda's blood in an effort to confuse investigators, Linda's attorney believed that Dizian meant to frame Linda for the crime. Verdict On October 25, 2002, Linda Henning was found guilty of first-degree murder. She was also convicted of kidnapping, conspiracy to kidnap, tampering with evidence, and four counts of perjury. Due to the special circumstances of felony murder and kidnapping, Linda faced the death penalty. Linda Henning's sentencing was held on April 18, 2003. Before her sentencing date, prosecutor Paul Spears wrote in his pre sentence investigation report that Linda Henning had made statements that she had actually consumed the flesh of Gurley Chu Hasenkoft and that, as a consequence, her remains and body would never be recovered by authorities. Despite the allegation, Linda was not given a death sentence. Instead, she was sentenced to 73 years in prison. For his role in the crime, Bill Miller received one year of probation. Aftermath in 2010, Linda's perjury convictions were overturned by the New Mexico Supreme Court, however all of her other convictions and her sentence were affirmed. The story of Gurley Chu Hasenkoff's murder has been televised on Crime Stories, Court TV, American Justice, The Investigators, Snapped, Monster Says, Sins and Secrets and I'd Kill for You. Albuquerque television journalist Mark Horner wrote a book about the murder of Gurley Chu Hasenkoft entitled September Sacrifice. See also list of solved missing persons cases. References